Wait, we're getting a Just Cause movie? Yes. No. It's complicated. I'm sure by now many Just Cause fans have seen at least one of those articles claiming a Just Cause movie is in the works. How a new team and studio works on it, and how great it will be. In fact, just this May, we got yet another one. And every time this happens, a bunch of news sites pick the story back up and fans get excited again. I first heard of the movie in 2017, and naturally got excited. But as time went on, it became clear that nothing but promises would ever come of this. And it turns out, it has been in the works since at least 2011, in one form or another. And every few years it changes hands, while previous work is scrapped, and more empty promises are made. By the end of this, you'll understand why I'm confident this movie will never see the light of day. But let's go back to the beginning. It's December 2011, one and a half years after Just Cause 2 released, and the first article about the supposed movie releases. At this point, the title of the movie is Just Cause Scorpion Rising, and it will reportedly focus on Rico's backstory. Since Just Cause 3 was already in development and would go on to release 4 years later, it's safe to assume that the movie was meant to release alongside it. Not only would this be a totally realistic time frame for movie development, it would also align with Just Cause 3's story, that touches on the backstory of Rico and his family, and I can only assume it was meant to tie into that. One thing that caught my attention this far back is that the article claims its current writer is rewriting the story, so it sounds to me as if the movie started development even before this. After that, we wouldn't get any news on the movie for almost 4 years. Seems like they've been hard at work and it's about to release alongside Just Cause 3. In December 2015 it was announced that the movie is almost ready to start filming and that there's not even a set date for that yet. Wait, what in the world happened there? Well, that was never addressed, but at least some actually interesting ideas were shared. The producer told us that the movie would take inspiration from Just Cause 3's story and gameplay. Go figure. He also said that the movie has as much right to be called an action movie as The Fast and Furious, and that he's dreaming of a shared Square Enix movie universe with Just Cause, Hitman and Tomb Raider in the present time, but also with Deus Ex in the future and Thief in the past. The producer owned the rights to all of these at the time, except for Tomb Raider. His movie about Hitman was already out at the time, and he said that if it does well enough, that not only the shared universe stream might become a reality, but also that filming for Just Cause might start early. The Hitman movie did terrible. Boom, it's now March 2017. The movie has a new producer and Aquaman will be Rico Rodriguez. What? By now it's about one and a half years after Just Cause 3 released, and it's reported that Aquaman actor Jason Momoa will be the actor that plays Rico. But not just that, the movie's plot seems to have changed once more. Gone is the story about Rico's origin, the movie is now about Rico facing a crisis of conscience during one of his missions. Hmm, that doesn't really make sense considering what Just Cause is known for. You know what else doesn't make any sense? Well, Just Cause 4 of course. Yep, I'm pretty sure by now the movie has shifted towards tying into Just Cause 4. Considering that was already in development, and that too tried way too hard to make a more serious storyline. About a year later, the producer would share thoughts about the movie in an interview, where he talked about figuring out the tone for the movie. So like, it's still not clear what the thing will be? My god. Even now, they are still working on the script and even Rico's character. When asked about the video game movie curse, he made it clear that he doesn't believe in that. He's previously made a movie based on Rampage, and it was received quite well, so he has every right to say that. When asked specifically about Just Cause, he says he broke the franchise down to the basics, with Rico's character being the center, and Jason Momoa wanting to do a badass James Bond. He goes on to mention the intro sequence of Just Cause 3 and says, that is totally what the movie should be. It has to pay respect and give the fans what they need, but also be a unique thing. If you've paid attention in the previous segment, you probably noticed that that is the complete opposite of what was implied just a year earlier. With Rico's badassery now at the center, and not a crisis of conscience. Yet another year goes by and it's now early 2019. 
half a year after Just Cause 4 released. There is yet another new writer, and the previous producer is gone. The same guy who wrote all three John Wick movies is now the writer for this Just Cause movie. It's now also official that the movie will be based on Just Cause 4, but it's also mentioned that there is no cast, filming or release information. In short, the movie just got its fourth hard reset. That's it. Sounds like the movie is doing just fine. Two years go by. In 2021, the premise of the movie is made public by the writer. Indiana Jones by the way of James Bond. It's claimed that within the next few weeks there will be a casting announcement and a general report of where they are with the movie by now. The writer goes on to say that most time with video game movie adaptations there's either too much or barely anything. But with Just Cause 4, you just watch the trailer and you're like, I got it, I get it, let's go. And it's a joy, man. The screenplay is supposedly finished by now, but production and even casting still have not started. The team is said to be happy with the script, but since there are no actors set in stone yet, the script could still fundamentally change. When asked about what will make the Just Cause movie different from other video game movies that haven't been that great, he said that it's important to stay true to the game and the main character. Wow, so far this has been the most confident sounding team. I'm starting to think the movie's actually happening another three years later and we arrive in current year. Everything was thrown out once more. New writer, new producer, new studio. You know the drill by now. This time around, the people who cares?